The first time that I decided I wanted to be an artist was when I was very young, actually. I would read National Geographic magazines and start looking at nature and different animals and their habitats and people and cultures. And I wanted to see all of it in person and draw it, paint it. And uh, I started drawing every day. And from that, people started inviting me to paint their walls. So I saw a path kind of leading to the unknown and I followed it. And here I am now. I'm David Lavernia. I also go by the name Davel. I'm a full-time artist, living, struggling, and dreaming with my art every day. To see a little bit of love before I'll be found Cause I got roots to hold me down it's funny, I talk to my family sometimes and they're like, you're a dreamer and I'm, and I agree. I say, like, I think of these things that are like unfathomable to most people. And it's great for me because I'm able to follow these dreams and come through with them and then kind of show it in a very positive light. So, I mean, following my passion and dream every day is a blessing. I've painted almost any item you can think of. Like everything that's around me, I've probably painted on <laughs> like tables, sunglasses, shoes, chairs, walls, but I think my favorite is always a wall. You know, people will walk up and just smile automatically at some of the pieces. Sometimes they might be confused, like why did he do it like this? But they're still smiling and, and that's, for me, it goes a long way. There's places that I really want to paint, and then there's always this feeling of like, wow, like so many artists are painting so many walls. And I, I used to think, are there gonna be enough? And then I look at, let's say Miami, and you see all these buildings going up everywhere, and you think about every wall that it takes to make these buildings, and like people needing paintings and artwork all over their walls, and it gives me this sense of comfort. Like I can keep following my dream, keep following my passion anywhere in the world. It's like trusting that unknown, like who knows who I'm going to bump into tomorrow that can lead me to the next more interesting project. Like I'm, I'm looking at this wall right here and I want to paint it, <laughs> for example. <laughs>